see the mass here today, uh, in the global moment at when pulpit on Sunday afternoon. Whoever wants to be in it, come at one o'clock, we put you into it. Three o'clock is the performance of it. Tomorrow the company goes to Texas. We had a contract with two universities and the board of directors canceled the show. Too dangerous, they said. The student body and faculty wanted us. They canceled us, but we went on the phone and we found eight other, other places in the West Coast and used that. That's the two cities. So that's what we'll do. Yep. And this is, uh, so apparently it's a dangerous material. You must be talk about this. <laughs> and so we have done this since October. We have done it in New York City for a while at TNC on the Lower East Side for our old neighborhood. And we have done it in Glover, Vermont, uh, whenever we can, Sundays, as often as we can. And we want to continue till this horror stops. So we will continue. So on the way, what else? The company has had hours and hours worth of rehearsal to learn this because it's a special version that has to fit on an airplane. It's so, not so easy. It's the, the normal version is with sculptures at home that are six, eight feet tall. can do that. So this is a new version. Okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. That should be called it. We are ready. Rex. 
to which, coincidentally, the military-industrial complex is genetically related, <laughs> and in whose footsteps of extinction we can only hope that it will soon follow. <laughs> and finally, we see you, the students of success, approaching the door to receive further instruction. Come in! And subsequently depart. Get out! Back home to your mom and dad, who will assuredly advise you to enroll in a more worthwhile course of study. <laughs> The pertinent gods of the moment that are relevant to this. This is a not dangerous rapid machine. This is the god of water, every day available, relatively good water. The second one is the god of food, every day available, decently prepared food. Next god is the god of medicine, with a band-aid, pills, whatever. All of them. Every day available medicine. This one is the god of shelters, roofs over there, every day available shelter. <coughs> this one is the god of journalists, the ones who have been killed. By now it's in the hundreds <clears throat> over there, a courageous bunch of people who don't work necessarily for the truth industry, but just for the truth. And this one we don't know, it's a mystery card, we haven't figured out. <laughs> but, but mysterious. This one here is the god of the day, a very serious god, the anti-genocide god. Let's slide move. Next is the sky. Gigantic table, can't be the 
robotic drone penetration. It is no sight, but a strategic device of the destruction experts. Praise to the sky, which is empty and full of me.
The secret, untranslatable, totally untranslatable, and we take a look at the reality. So we are going to put this secret to the God of the day, the Empire, the genocide God. See what happens to me. Next. The U.S. government says no ceasefire, but victory! We now present to you a typical U.S. victory dance. Scripture readers of the day, please. I will now read scripture number one. On February 1st, six-year-old Hind Rajab spent three hours on the phone with Palestinian emergency services crying for help stranded in a car under Israeli fire in Gaza, surrounded by the bodies of her murdered relatives. After the IDF finally gave permission for the last working ambulance in Gaza to be dispatched for Hind's rescue, they decided to bomb the vehicle anyway, killing both paramedics inside mere meters from Hind. Two weeks after her initial call for help, Hind's family was finally able to reach the scene and found her dead inside the car. I will now feed scripture number one into the mouth of hell for processing. 
there, bringing back love. If I must die, let it bring hope. Let it be a tale. I will now place scripture number two into the mouth of power for prophecy. <laughs> Scripture number three. On February 13th, the Senate passed a bill 70 to 29 that would send an additional 14 billion in assistance to Israel's assault on Gaza while permanently defunding UNRWA, the foremost humanitarian aid group for Palestinians in Gaza and beyond. I will now feed scripture number three into the mouth of hell for processing. Give me that! Processing, please! Semitism is Another mystery word, untranslatable, goes to the God of the day, anti genocide God. And
and and the the Lord. And Slaughter Then
And this is the sermon of today. civilization that routinely produces large quantities of dead its impact and merchandise. The question is war who profits who dies does not merely address politics but the politically governed population as well points to the grim fact that death embedded in traditional empathy succumbs to the vast statistics of meaningless anonymous death reflected in the empire's budget called defense budget, meaning aggression budget. And now actively engaged in running the latest horrendous genocide here. Population, 
the democratically elected now openly fascist administration How will we be allowed to die amicably or falsely as victims of empire designs? Constructed human safeguards, treaties, international conventions, abandoning all habits of decency and morality. Treating its subjects. Like the empire nothings and nowheres, useful only once every four years for a billionaire rigged election. And we yelling. yelling does not reach their disinterested ears, will we invent new yells that are harder to neglect? Will the enough is enough be loud enough? Will they Comprehend our not in our name and not with our money. Can we afford to be subject to this murderous system? How? What could be? worse violation of our human rights than bombing hospitals and send the murderers to investigate the crime. No water, no food, no electricity, no medicine. The publicly declared intention to kill them all. Where are the screaming institutions. And our basic human rights screaming, where, where are the stoppers, preventers of this ultimate brutality? And has this bombing hospital civilization simply lost its right to exist? And we, aren't we meant for our birthright? The original glorious whole our mother dirt who makes us and unmakes us 
and obliges us to our habitual or extra habitual everyday little happiness or huge euphoria obliges us to fight the genociders. End of sermon and now the funeral march. to mystery plays, very pretentious, super, super terms of non-existing reality, totally wiped out by the events that we saw, meaningless, a shame. Let him fly out. <laughs> now we have to call in three directions. Mm -hmm. So first one, let's say there. Good, good, good. I am good indeed. 